go. Hello, this is us. Uh, again. Me, Ninja Teapot, and him, a hobbit. And we're going to be doing a sort of highlights of my playthrough of Oblivion. And I brought him along because he hasn't got any experience with these games at all. <laughs> so I thought it'd be nice to explain it to him. <laughs> so I'm just going to go now and start a new game. This has all been pre-recorded by the way, so if we run out of things to talk about we'll just fast forward. Now we're going to start a new game and we're going to look at the pretty cutscene in a minute. And I forgot to take the loading screen out, which is always a good thing. It's quite a pretty loading screen though, as loading yeah. screens go. Stylized, and now we'll shut up for the cutscene. I was born 87 years ago. For 65 years I've ruled as Tamriel's emperor. But for all these years, I've never been the ruler of my own dreams. I have seen the gates of oblivion, beyond which no waking eye may see. Behold, in darkness, a doom sweeps the land. This is the 27th of last seed, the year of Akatosh 433. These are the closing days of the third era and the final hours of my life. Okay, so this game is made by Bethesda and that there was Emperor Uriel Septim who plays quite a key role in this game. I'm guessing he's the Emperor. Well, yes, he is, because he's called Emperor Uriel Septim. Like, again, this game is called Oblivion, and then if you look down, you'll see an oversized guard walking along a path. There so he is. Yes. And now we get a lovely clean sweep outside of the Imperial City, which is one of the capital cities in this game. And, of course, like most RPGs, instead of being a bold and brave hero, you start off in the Imperial Jail, for a crime you cannot remember. Okay. And from that lovely cutscene, we go straight into the character creation screen. And in and the jail, there's a barber. Yes. <laughs> and Somehow. a plastic surgeon. Yes. And a race changer and a sex changer. Anyway, oh so we I'm going to now enter my character name, which is of course going to be Ninja Teapot, because that is actually my name in real life. My parents were very cruel, and they decided to name me Ninja Teapot. I don't know why I put that space there, it's just to force a habit. Now I go back through and delete it. So yes. And now for this playthrough I'm going to be playing an Algorian. Why? Because they look pretty awesome and I don't really care about any of the ratios. What the hell? They're immune to po most poisons and diseases and they can breathe underwater as well as being good at picking locks. I that decided. Went, I went from quite normal to slightly strange to yeah. quite weird to normal to normal again and then to that. Yes. Well, I decided that I'm just going to click the random button because I'm too lazy to try and fill about with all the shapes and tones on this character playthrough. I did that on my last and I ended up with a really ugly cat. <laughs> so in a minute I'm going to click the random button. I don't know what I was doing here. Probably just thinking about what I was going to play in the background or something. His eyes just stare into your soul. There we go. They're quite creepy, aren't they? And just random eyes. Keep going. And they keep going. Fins, I'm going to have sh bloody spikes because they're pretty awesome. Age. The age yeah. What does that do? Uh, it changes your pupils and your dilation, I think. Oh, I suppose and it has more effect on the other characters. Yeah, it does. Complexion, and I'm sure I want to be an Argonian. And here we are. It's a first-person RPG, but can also be played in furs. Use the left stick to move around. And of course, the first thing I do is punch the wall to try and get out. Those are my fists. 
punching tan jugs. Cuts and I go to yours. So close to the water, knowing you'll never get to swim again. Okay, that's a bit. You know, sometimes when they let us in the yard, you can hear the sounds from the lake, the boats, the gulls. So close. No, you'll never get to swim again, Argonian. But don't worry, you'll be dead soon enough. That's right. You're yeah. going to die. Hey, you know, he says the guards are coming. different things depending on your race. Now my fatigue is low because I've been jumping about too much. <laughs> which means now I'm going to fail the tutorial because I can't hit as hard. Oh. Well, it, it recovers and it will be gone by the time I leave. And so I'm going to... He's my second least favourite character in the entire game. The first being the adoring fan who will get too much. And that was just a random jump cut. Yeah, sorry about that. Here they come again, for the first time for you guys, down the stairs, walking along. La 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 la. It's interesting they've put a female guard in to avoid all the sexism. Yes. But then she doesn't actually do anything. No. I think she's the first to die, actually. I'm not sure. I can't actually. No, I know. It's the guy who stands at the door. Let's go. Not the Emperor. Okay. Don't, don't say the spoilers. I've it's not a spoiler, he dies in the first five seconds of the tutorial. Oh. It doesn't really matter, he just gets attacked. Guards, give me strength. What's going on? Assassins attack my sons, and I am next. So this is quite interesting, sort of telling you that he's knowing what's going to happen. Yes, he, well... The, the emperors in this game have all been septums, and the septums have the dragon blood in them, which allows them to see the stars much clearer than any other normal citizen of Tamriel, which is the man. That's quite cool. Only he's the only septum left, and he's afraid he's going to die, so his blades, which are his personal guard, are leading him out of the city. Also, at this point, if you're looking for a playthrough where it's about the story, I would suggest going somewhere else because this is mainly going to be my Us. adventures and what we happened for me. And he's along for the ride because he's bored and he's got nothing else to do. Yeah, I don't really know much about this game, so I'll sort of be learning with the audience. And that's, of course, you'll really experience. Now, one thing I don't get is why have I been trapped in this cell? Yeah, I've never noticed there's a secret opening. Well, you're a lizard man, so you're not very good at seeing. Okay. This is about where I stopped the video because I was bored with the lizard already. <laughs> no, I'm joking. Okay, I guess we'll see you next time. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. no, that doesn't matter. Yeah. Okay. See you. Just I'll put a picture in at the end or something. Yeah.